In this video, I'm going to redesign a book cover for the very famous Rich Dad Poor Dad in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am in Adobe Illustrator with a standard artboard that I'll be working on. For the sizing of this artboard, you can use this standard size to design your book cover, but there are other standard sizes which can be used according to your preference. Also, make sure to set your document color mode to CMYK in case you want to print this cover design. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a background for our cover design. With the rectangle tool selected, I'm going to create a nice standard sized rectangle for my artboard. For the styling of this rectangle, I'm going to apply a radial gradient for my background. Open the gradient panel and click here to apply a default gradient. Change the gradient type to radial and click here to reverse it. Now we can change the color of this rectangle to a nice gray shade. Copy this hex code for this dark color. Select the rectangle and double click on this slider. Set the color mode to RGB and paste the hex code here. Now similarly, copy the hex code for this second color. Select the rectangle and double click on this slider. Set the mode to RGB and paste the code here. Now move this radial point to a position around 30 to 40% just to give this rectangle a nice faded look. Now select the gradient tool from the toolbar and move the central point to a position in the top left corner because we will write our book title on this area. So once more with the rectangle tool selected, create a random shape just like this and make sure to change its color to the same dark shade that we've used in the gradient. Now go back to your canvas and rotate this rectangle to 45 degrees. Place it on a position like this and scale it properly to make sure that it goes beyond the edges. So once you are satisfied with the rectangle, go to the effect menu and apply a shadow. Click on preview to see the effect in real time and then select some suitable values according to your own preference and then simply hit OK. Now make sure to decrease its opacity to around 30%. So now this rectangle is adding some nice, elegant look to our background design. Now since our background is finally complete, we can select both these shapes. Go to the object menu and lock the selection, just to make sure that we can work freely without disturbing our background. So now we can start adding text to our cover design. With the type tool selected, write a brief qualifier or introduction for the author. Use a decent typeface like Bebus New and also change the font color to white. Align this text to the center and also decrease its size quite a bit to make sure that it's not too large. Now from the characters panel, set the tracking to a larger value around 400 or some suitable value according to your artboard size and then place this text at the very top like this. Now we will write our main title for this book cover. Once more with the text tool selected, write two words from the title which is Rich Dad. So for the styling, I'm going to use simple Arial typeface which is a nice decent serif font. Increase its font weight to full bold and change its color to this nice bright yellow shade. Now zoom out to see the full canvas. Change the paragraph alignment to left and place it on the left side. Now increase its size to a larger value to make it prominent. Adjust the spacing from the top and also from the left edge. Now create a copy of this text. Change its color to white. Decrease its font weight to something similar to bold. And also decrease its font size just a little bit. Now edit this text and write the remaining title for your book cover. Adjust the spacing between these headings and place them on a suitable position. Now we can add our main model image for the cover. Download this file from the video description and then drag this image on top of your design. You can use any other image that you want, but make sure that it's transparent and has no background. 
Scale down your image and align it to the bottom right corner. Now zoom in and move this image out of the canvas so that it goes a little bit beyond the edges. Now we can apply a shadow to this image to make it more realistic. From the effect menu, select drop shadow, and then select some suitable values according to your artboard size, and then simply hit OK. Now scale it up a little bit to bring the top edge in front of the book title. Now that the image part is complete, we can write the name of the author right here below the title. Create a copy of this text from the top, paste this text below the main title, and then write the name of the author. Change the paragraph alignment to left, and then align it to the left like this. Make sure that the spacing above and below the title is equal. In order to confirm the spacing, go to the View menu and select Show Rulers from the drop-down. Now zoom in and drag two horizontal rulers to measure the distance between the top edge and the heading. Now select both these rulers and create a copy. Place it below the title, and you can see that the distance below the title is equal to the above distance. You can also drag a vertical ruler for the left alignment of your design. So the next thing we can do is we can add some informative text for our cover design. Zoom in on your design, and with the text tool selected, write a small paragraph of some informative text. For the styling of this text, you must use the same Arial typeface, but increase the font weight of some of the words to make them prominent. Also, take your time to further stylize this paragraph text, just to make sure that it looks nice and decent after printing. So once the styling is complete, place it on a suitable position and use the ruler to align it to the left. Now create a copy of this paragraph text and place it on the opposite side. Drag a second ruler for the vertical edge, and then copy both these rulers and place them on the opposite side. Zoom in and make sure to place them on the right edge. Now before aligning this paragraph, make sure to edit this text and write some other useful information. Use the same styling technique that you've used for the first paragraph, and then place this text here. Now select both these paragraphs and vertically align them to the center. Now zoom in and align this paragraph to the right using the rulers. So once you are done with the paragraph text, it's time to add some final text at the very bottom. With the type tool selected, write a brief line of text to celebrate the 25th anniversary for this number one personal finance book of all time. Change the paragraph alignment to center. Adjust the alignment according to the artboard and also decrease the font weight to narrow. However, select some part of the text and make it a little prominent. Now decrease the overall font size. And from the characters panel, set the tracking to a suitable value. Just like this. Now use the same horizontal rulers to measure the distance from the bottom edge. Select the two horizontal rulers from the top and create a copy for the bottom. Zoom in to make sure that the alignment is correct. And you can see that the bottom text is perfectly placed at the same distance as above. Now zoom in on this side of the text and use the line tool to create a horizontal line by holding down the shift key. Set the stroke color to white and decrease the stroke value to around 0.5. Now decrease its opacity to 50% and create a copy for the opposite side of the text. Zoom in and adjust it on the right edge of the text. Now the design is almost complete, but if you feel that this paragraph text is lacking visibility a little bit, you can apply a subtle shadow to this text. Select Drop Shadow from the Effect menu and apply a subtle shadow to this paragraph text and hit OK. Now the design is finally complete, and you can now zoom out and remove all these rulers from your design. Select all these rulers and simply press Delete to remove them. Now select the Rectangle tool and create a shape equal to the size of the artboard. 
zoom in to see that everything lines up nicely. Also, don't forget to go to the object menu and unlock the background layers that we had locked in the very beginning of this video. Now make sure to select everything on the canvas. Go to the object menu and make a clipping mask. So here is the final design, and this is how you can elegantly redesign the book cover for Rich Dad Poor Dad. Don't forget to like this video, and also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.